Corey Hilton spent 25 years as a male exotic dancer across Canada and the United States and climbed to the top of his industry very quickly. Throughout his career, Hilton says he began to overcome his self-worth struggle through interception and authenticity. The now Kelowna resident says he became liberated by taking off the layers long after he chose to put his clothes back on. Hilton has written a biography titled Take It Off, sharing a raw look into the world of male exotic dancing. It's just sort of just my past. I didn't think of it as something that could help others out. So at the end of the day, when I actually had written all these stories and put it down on paper, I actually went to um, a publisher by the name of Daring to Share Global in Kingston, Ontario. And Diana Ryers is actually the coach and editor through that company and she owns it. And she basically told me, she said, Corey, you have an amazing book here, but it can be so much more if you inject your emotions into it, if you inject your core values and the feelings that are actually attached to those core values. Hilton broke into the industry at 17 years old after starting as a shirtless waiter at a nightclub. And I went through my struggles, uh, like re relatable struggles, just because I was up on street stage or relatable struggles of divorce. I went through drug addiction. I went through sex addiction. I went through a lot of different stuff that a lot of people out there do. I just quite frankly saw it through a different lens. So the guy that you thought maybe was up on stage and had all the confidence in the world, guess what? He had all the same struggles that you did, dude, just, just in a different way. At 43 years old, Hilton retired. Hilton says the goal of his book is to inspire others and to pass on the value of self-worth. It really is for anybody, but I always promote anybody over 30 because I think that to be able to truly relate to some of the struggles that I went through, you have to fall on your face a few times. You have to fall on your face, get back up and overcome the obstacle and so if you've done that then you can relate to what I'm saying. My literal tagline in the book is let the damn break before you damn break dude. For Castanet News, I'm Addison Earhart in Kelowna.